Moving to another news alert, an absolute mess has stretched into a fourth day for travelers. American Airlines has canceled more than uh, more flights this morning. Hundreds leaving people stranded or having to zigzag across the country just to try and get home. It's happening all at GSP as well. Fox Carolina's Lindsay Gibbs is live this morning at the airport where she's heard at least one terrible story already. Yeah, and the nightmare just won't end for this man. He's been trying since Saturday to get from Tennessee to Kansas, where his wife just had their first baby. Now, you can see this is some of his boarding passes that he gave to me. These are all flights that he wasn't able to get on. But take a listen. This is just devastating. I uh, actually missed my daughter's birth. She was born Sunday morning. I was supposed to be there Saturday night. And, uh, I mean, it's out of my control. American Airlines canceled his connection in Charlotte to Dallas, but Louise drove from Charlotte to Greenville, hoping to catch the next flight to Dallas. After staying in hotels he paid for himself the last few days, desperate to meet his new daughter, the flight out of GSP this morning was canceled. Louise tells us he now feels helpless. Louise is not alone. American Airlines canceled 400 flights total yesterday, adding to the mess. The airline now delivering the bad news that delays may take up to three days for people to get at home. This comes after more than 1,800 flights were canceled over the weekend, including seven flights here at GSP. American Airlines is blaming staffing shortages and high winds that knocked out service at its main hub in Dallas, Fort Worth, triggering the cancellations and delays. Now, this probably, we know this probably has many people um, on edge when it comes to traveling for the holidays. Many people are booking flights for Thanksgiving and Christmas, so we did put together some travel tips to keep in mind. First, consult with a travel agent before you make your holiday day plans, they'll be able to prepare you for the worst case scenarios. Then on the day of your flight, make sure you arrive at least two hours before, giving you time to park and get through security. Be familiar with check-in procedures and download your airline or airport's app. This will help you avoid the line and reschedule your flight if it does get canceled. Now, of course, we've had cancellations this morning already. Flights are being delayed here at GSP, but we will stay on top of this for you as the story develops. Margaret Anschale, 